Hello, everybody. This is the Cryptic Chameleon. Thank you for joining me for this video. We are starting a brand new game today. And that game is Clive Barker's Undying. I just spent some time tweaking the different commands for the video or for the game. And now we're going to start a new game. So let's do it. Uh, yes, easy. I always do easy. Okay. 1923, October. Uh, I'm tired of traveling or fighting superstition and its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism. Little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all Turn kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believe there are forces beyond our control. Da -da -da. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. Okay. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. He commanded an officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit on the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. Ooh. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed Ooh. in severe barns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me. But he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. That's interesting. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Hi, Jeremiah Rebecca. wrote me Good to six see you. months ago. Asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. Oh. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life, though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. Okay, so that's the backstory for this game. Now, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. Let's see. F3 to access journal. Like, I'll remember that. Each time my past fades from my, my memory, fate has a terrible habit of reawakening me. Uh, most often, the unpleasant name of Otto Kishinger. <laughs> I can't do the accent. Is the vehicle of remembrance. Oh, hey, 10D. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, my old friend and commanding officer in the Great War, uh, Jeremiah Covenant, has sent word. It has been years since I have heard from him. This letter came whilst I was away, sitting unopened for nearly six months. My joy at reading his name was quickly replaced with sorrow, then by fear. Jeremiah had fallen ill and requires my assistance at his estate in Ireland. I have not set foot on Irish shorehill since poor Gwendolyn's death, and I did not think anything could make me return. Could I have been responsible for the, her death? I can't tell if I'm doing a Scottish or an Irish accent, but anyway, uh, being legally exiled from my homeland was painful, but nothing in comparison to my, mem to my memories. How did she end up on the floor? How could so much blood come without a wound or without a sound? How was that knife in my hand, and why was Kessinger suddenly nowhere to be found? But Jeremiah saved my life, and I cannot deny any request he would make. The necessity of my presence is somewhat vague, as his letter at times was incoherent. He speaks of his sickness as a family illness no medicine can cure. Regardless, I will go to my friend. I have booked passage on a steam liner leaving tomorrow, arriving in four days' time. I hope I am not recognized by the authorities. Okay. So I have a stone, a revolver, and something else. Oh, I can I, I, I can do some kind of magic, but I don't know what type of magic it is. Okay. That was interesting. Ah, these 2001 games. 
I'm Cut Patrick scene. Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see Oh, good morning, Rebecca. I hope you're We've having a good day. quite worried. And a good weekend. Jeremiah's now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. Oh. Ah, the 2000s games. Only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. Wow, that that animation quality. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. Really? Like, you're not gonna hire anybody to fix that? I mean, this family come on. had so much tragedy. Has it? I hope you can help him. Right. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> like, I'm a supernatural investigator, not a doctor. <laughs> All right, let me turn down the. Now that the cutscene's over, we'll turn down the background audio. Anything interesting? Okay, that that was unnecessary. I'm just looking around the surroundings. Maybe I turned up the mouse sensitivity too much. Uh, oh, flashback. Okay. So, uh, John Cleese just showed up. <laughs> I can't tell what that guy looks like. Yeah, it still kind of looks like John Cleese. What's in this door? Okay, that door doesn't open. Sooty! Sooty lad! Welcome! Wait, is it lad? Yes! Thank you for saying hi. Sorry for the delay response. Jammed. Door will not open. Okay, what is this? I gained a health pack. Okay, so that door is jammed. Ah, this is the door. Loading. This game is going to have lots Patrick, of loading screen. Here we go. It. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. Oh. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. Uh-oh. Brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. Right. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After uh -oh. sending out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the house really? was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. Yeah, you think? I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. Okay. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of yeah. course, Jeremiah. There's nothing more the than meets the eye here. coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. Oh. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. Yeah, because he can get up to do that. Okay, let's read the journal. I have arrived. And All right, let me turn down the game sound here. Okay. I have arrived in time. Apparently just in time. Completely bedridden, Jeremiah is a shadow of his old self, appearing many pounds and a few shades lighter. His explanation for calling me is still unclear. He speaks of strange happenings around the estate, problems that he is unable to rectify in his weakened state, and has requested that I investigate. I, of course, agreed. Before I could ponder where to begin my exploration, the servant who showed me to Jeremiah's room screamed from downstairs. Often, where to begin is the most difficult step. There was no scream. There was just a noise. 
Like... Game, you're being inconsistent. Okay. Suppose I'll go downstairs. Oh, there's no loading screen this time. Oh, there's a ghost. Hi, ghost. Okay. I don't know what I can do with the stone, but... Okay. So, um, I propose, or suppose, we go through this door. Because it's open. That's usually the best bet, right? You know, you go through the door that's already open. Uh, this door opened. So let's see what we gotta do here. Can you describe what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. Okay. That... That's nice. Uh, what you say m meant nothing, but... Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a thing. Oh, I, I picked up some bullets, which will work great against, you know, ghosts. Because, you know, I can definitely shoot ghosts. All right, so that's not going to work. So we got through that room. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Why? No, switch to my gun. Thank you. Jammed. Jammed. Sir, the radar has been jammed. Raspberry. Only one would dare to give me the raspberry. Lone Star! Okay. Moving forward. Ooh, health pack. Gimme, gimme. Okay. So we got a painting. We've got another painting. Um, we've got windows. Window one. Window two. And... That's it. Like, there's nothing in here. Ex oh, there's... Uh, Oh, there's me in a mirror. <laughs> Hi. Okay, laugh at me. That that still doesn't tell me what I'm. Sp uh oh. Uh oh. This is a secret passage. That's something. Okay, that is... Oh, what the heck? That is an inordinate amount of blood. Um, yeah, give me a second. I gotta fix the mouse sensitivity. I think I oversensitized the mouse. Let me just... Desensitize the mouse just a smidge. I am not gonna invert the mouse. Alright, back to game. There we go. That's maybe better. Alright, health pack. No, the servant lady is dead. Or somebody's dead. Ah! No, shoot! Dang! This is not easy, supposedly. What, what's the reload command? I mean, is there a reload command? I don't know that there's a reload command. That's unfortunate. Okay. S oh, one shot did it. That's interesting. Okay. Wait, that's not even right, man. Like... Stop! Like, let me shoot him. Oh my goodness. This game is very demanding, to say the least. What is this? Oh, those are the two werewolves that I killed. Um, is there a reload? I wonder what I can 
controls. Is there a re reload command? Let's see. Weapon select. Spell. Spell select. Forward, backward, step left, step right, turn left, turn right, look up, look down, duck, jump, mouse look, sneak, previous inventory, next inventory, use inventory, previous weapon, next weapon, previous spell, next spell, center view, quick save, quick load, revolver, Okay, so you could set specific ones for weapon, but you can't. There's no reload. That's that's wonderful. So I can't force my weapon to reload. Okay, fine. Fine, be that way. Let's see if this one's locked. I'm not gonna remember where I'm going. Jammed. It's not jammed. It's locked. Oh, this one's open. Let's go through here. Wait. All right. Let's look carefully. You never know where there might be werewolves. Oh, that's where I came from. Never mind, I don't want to do that. I already came that direction. Okay. So we'll have to go up these stairs in this, you know, Lovecraftian house here. Yeah, I'm sure he wasn't messing with the occult already in... I took somebody out. Uh, here's a book. I am. I have just returned from the Standing Stones. Whatever inspired ancient people to build these stones? Out on the w on that window, a windswept aisle. I cannot guess. While I have seen sights like this before, something about the the stones has resonance within me. Why would ancient people trouble themselves to build these monoliths on such an isolated island? It would have been easier to establish a similar ritual area on the mainland itself. I find it curious, for as long as my family has owned this house, no one has taken up it upon themselves to truly research the land which we own. Considering I have not returned to the manor since I was a child, I never realized the curious nature of my inheritance. Why does this area have such a strange collection of archaeological artifacts? While I strongly doubt there is any connection between the Neolithic stones, a decaying monastery, and the tower that the estate was built. What? And the tower that the estate was built and wraps itself around. The significance of three major archaeological sites cannot be denied. The tower is a local legend itself. Supposedly, during a great storm, the tower just appeared on this site. Of course... No one can tell me when this happened. All I can tell is that it was a gutted shell of what it once was. No doubt this is why it has been sealed off for so long. The monastery is now a crumbled ruin. It certainly is just a remnant of some reclusive order of monks. Seems that Ireland is dotted with these retreats. I will have to travel out to to the island someday. Perhaps I will take the children. Joseph. Valeria! Welcome. Or Valera, sorry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, let's go back to the game. So we are reading journal entries. There's no door in here? Okay. So there's no door save for the one that we came through, right? Wait. Wait. What? No, there's no door at all. No, there's the door. Okay. I was like, what is this? Okay, let's get ready to shoot a bad guy. Oh, come on. I shot him. One shot, one kill. Oh, that's not suspicious that that door opened after I killed the... Oh no, we have a loading screen. Uh, here we go. Those beasts were after me. What in God's name were those things? How do They're we called howlers? And get well, I've here. never seen one before tonight. I've heard of them. I thought he was bedridden. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstition. How did he get up here? Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. Really? When I was a boy. 
I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this aisle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones. Really? Something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I okay. took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us yeah. as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. No. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. Really? My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You right. saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of the Gelzebar on it. Okay. It contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. Yeah. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them. Yeah, so that you can to this take mess. over the world or something. See, this makes no sense, though. You are bedridden. You were bedridden. The servant said so. So if you were supposed to be bedridden, how is it? Oh, whatever. Piece to the puzzle. The scream downstairs was a result of an attack by a beast. Something Jeremiah calls a howler. Similar to a dog. The animal was pale in complexion, had claws as long as my arm, and could leap several meters from a dead stop. I killed the fiend, but before I could thoroughly inspect the corpse, it vanished without a trace. No, it didn't. It sat there in a pool of blood. Upon questioning Jeremiah, I am a little more unnerved than I was after seeing the Howler. He told a story involving his brothers and sisters, an isle of standing stones, and a sorcery book of his late father's. Apparently, the Covenant children, led by Jeremiah, went to the island and read from this strange book. He maintains it was simply a prank to scare his kin. He believes something from within the ring of stones answered back, raging the sea, angering the wind, and shaking the earth. Since that time, Jeremiah has been re have visited by terrible misfortune. All his brothers and sisters have passed away. I recall late one late night in foxhole in a fo in a foxhole. Sorry, Jeremiah showed me a picture of the youngest sister Elizabeth, or Elizabeth. Sorry, no more than a teenager. She was so striking I found it hard to concentrate on his descriptions of the others. Anyway, Jeremiah is not completely convinced they are indeed dead. Well, to be precise, he's not sure that they have remained dead. I suspect that the, these are delusions brought on by his memory of that day at the Stones. Otherwise, I can only imagine this is as a terrible prank played upon a dying man. But if they are only delusions, why not inform me of them when we first spoke? Why would he not write me of such in his letter. Perhaps he did not think I would come. Perhaps he didn't. Also, um, you know, if somebody says to you, uh, yeah, I'm new journal entry. Let's look at the journal entry. Okay. That was random. Ectoplasm. Okay. The scroll of Jeremiah gave me has revealed a powerful spell. It seems that with proper concentration and focus of my mind, I am able to release ethereal bolts of ectoplasm from my hand. I'm reliable at far range. The mystical damage seems quite effective in close quarters. Okay.
All right, so hang on. That's, how do I change spells again? Controls. Spell select R. Okay. That's the spell I want. Okay. So let's move forward. No, jump. Yeah, I picked up bullets. Oh, that's a cool painting. I believe that's supposed to be Samson? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. So we're in the... guest bedroom. How about I take a nap? No, it won't let me. Whew. Sorry about that. Okay. Moving forward. <gasps> this is... Uh, okay. Loading. Now what do I do? Well, I guess we go this way. Wait, what? Oh, this is one big like you. Wait, or is this another guest room? That doesn't make sense. I guess it's another guest room. Okay, fine. So that, that's a guest room. All right, we're going to go downstairs. Oh boy, here we go. Have you noticed anything strange going on? Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night doing a commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. It's quite a mess. Okay. Once again, though, if the other woman was supposedly the only servant around, why is there another servant? The butler said someone broke into Lisbeth's room. Perhaps I should investigate. Yeah, okay. Stuck. Okay, so I saw the servant guy go this way. There we go. Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she spitting curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. Tis a pity her mother died birthing her. Oh, indeed. Following her mother's death, I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, the wasting sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick and watched her wither away to nothing. Pity a young woman has to die in the spring of her life. Yeah. Uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> poor man. Seeing a ghost is never a good omen. No. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Okay. Thank you. Alright, F3. I spoke with the maid about Lisbeth. The sibling's mother, Eveline, apparently died while giving birth to her, and the housekeeper filled the void of her maternal absence. She said Lisbeth was a very beautiful girl with a short, violent fuse who passed away from wasting disease. I take note of the irony of someone who was so beautiful dying of such a heinous disease that calls for the destruction of their vanity. The maid said that the groundskeeper believes he has seen Lisbeth alive. Having seen Lisbeth with my own eyes, I can only believe this man's frightful testimony. I'll go down to the kitchen and try to find my way out to the gardens anyway. Okay, so. That's not creepy at all. Um... Okay, so th this house needs a priest. This house needs a priest. What's in here? Oh, this is the bathroom. Health pack, yeah. Nothing in here of interest. Wait, always check the sink. Nope, nothing there. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, nothing in the fireplace. Zanin, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. I really do. Oh, new journal entry. Let's take a read. This is a weird game. On nights when I cannot sleep, I look from my bed to the monastery out my window. The reflections of the waters that separate us ripple across my bedroom walls, filling the room with waves of moonlight. If it is quiet, quiet enough and the wind is still, I could still hear them chanting. Their prayers roll across the water and fall upon my ears like a lullaby, rocking me to sleep. It fills my body with such a quiet peace. And yet I cannot but help, or help but wonder how something that provides so much security could at the same time haunt me. At midnight the chanting stops. The brilliant lights of the monastery go black except for a tiny glow that emanates from the entrance to the catacombs. As I, match, as, as I watch that single light, I can see the shadows of the monks at the entrance. It is then that I feel a slow, creeping dread rise from my stomach, as if the island somehow has a hold of me. I have overheard bits and pieces of a story from hushed conversations about a monk who died a horrible death years ago among these grounds. It said that their tortured souls were put to rest within the catacombs and that their two brothers have stood guard at the entrance each night since. I cannot help but wonder why. What are they waiting for or hoping to ward off? Are they bound to the island with the same unknown force as I? The Lord works in mysterious ways, but how can a just God allow his own flock to die within sacred grounds? Surely there is another force working among us, one capable of pure evil. A loving God would never allow such pain and agony. It is that force that eats me at night and leaves my dreams unsettled. Or is it that force? Are the waters enough to keep me safe? I wish just once I could lie in the grass outside the catacombs for a night and put these haunted dreams to rest. I must end these nightly visions and seek the truth. Okay, so we're going to pause there for the video at least. The live stream continues, so if you're watching live, don't go anywhere. But in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you're seeing, please, by all means, leave me that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the follow button if you're using library. And I will be more than happy to answer and respond to your comments. That being said, thank you for being part of the, the Chameleon Collective. Thank you for joining me here today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, video viewers. <laughs>